Welcome back to the Nerdiverse. I'm Danny and here we are for some more Berserk, the Memorial Edition. It's episode eight. It's called Demise of a Dream. Excited to see what's going to happen with this episode. I mean, we know what happens, but let's see how this one's animated uh, and see what they uh, include in this or uh, remove from the 97 anime. Again, I've never read the manga, so I will read that after the 2016 edition, which will be after this. So here we are then. Shall we just jump in? I think we should. So three, two, one. Let's go. Of course he hit one once in his arms. ガッツ。お前とは随分喧嘩もしたけど一緒に視線を超えてきた仲間だろ。I you're not going to stop him. He's already made his mind up. Yeah. Because Really mean it, or did he say it because he's angry? He's going. I don't know if he does. Caucus, come on. Man. I mean, it's reckoning that's just his way of dealing with it. I do wonder if this is his way of dealing with it. If I'm honest. Right. Now it's up to Griffiths to uh, mention it. Here it is. He's drawn the sword. That looks cool though. What's crazy is the first time they met in a duel, obviously Griffiths you know, destroys him in one blow. Practically, right? It only takes one. And now we're going to see the opposite. Here we go. Come on, I want to see the animation in this fight. Let's go. Get out of the way, Kaska. Yeah. It's the only way to deal with it in the right way between these mercenaries. Kaska just needs to let this battle happen. I know she's frustrated because she wants us to stay. And she, just, she doesn't want to choose between the two. That's what her issue is here. Okay. This is it. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> if they just didn't Ah, just the way that it all goes wrong after this is crazy though. To think how important this duel is. Right, Griffiths wins this. Gut stays, I don't think we'd see the issues. Or would we? I don't know. Would it still play out the same way, do we think, the story? If it was uh, like a what-if scenario? What do you think? Do you think it was always going to end the way it did? There we go, then. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. That looks good. And here we go. That was cool though, wasn't it? Come on, admit it. The animation on that was sick. <laughs> you lose, Griffiths. <gasps> yep, he knocked his sword to the side. That was insane though, isn't it? The, the power that he's just generated to crack through the sword. 
It's great, yeah. It's really good though, because it just shows you like how like that was the moment that the kind of the the partnership, the friendship as we know it now, is broken. Because for me, that relationship now, ever since this, never the same again. Look how shocked he looks. He looks way more shocked in this than he did in the 97 anime. He looks visibly destroyed. Wow. Look at him, they all can all see that he's broken. But that's pretty much what he's like now. After this. Well, until... Yeah. And Casca really couldn't make a mind up at that point to go with or not. She should have gone with him, really. Then they would never have acted... He never would have... I don't think, also I don't think Guts would have come back. I suppose, yeah, the argument is he did care about the rest of them as well. Oh, God. Now we've got this bit, haven't we? Okay, so we got to see a bit more of this, because we didn't really get to see a huge amount of this part of the build-up. We got to see a little bit of this, didn't we, in the 97, but this is building on it a little bit more. She did have a real serious interest in him, obviously we know that anyway. Oh, is it going to do like a, keep doing that thunder strike and then we get to see an image of it, we're going to do that. Was that the image? That was it there, wasn't it? Yep, that's definitely him. That is creepy. When you actually think about it, that is incredibly creepy. But the fact he literally turns up standing on a tree to get into a window. Oh, Griffiths. Oh, this is the moment. No! Pain after this. Why am I doing this again? Why am I watching this all over again? Uh, she's long to see him. He is not long to see her. He is just seeing this as a way of speeding up the process. He is angry. And annoyed. But Guts is gone. Again, it probably shows a little bit from later on. So later on we find that Guts is the only reason that... Is the only person that keeps him off course for going down the route he goes down. So is this another way of showing that as soon as Guts is out of the picture again, the course is back to what he's trying to achieve. Jesus, it goes full on with the animation on this, doesn't it? So she wants to carry on the kissing. Now, how are they going to depict this next bit? Are they going to depict that she's going to say no a lot? Or is, or are they going to try and change this as well? No, good, okay, they've gone with the no, good. Okay, it's the same. Well, not good, but you know what I mean. Griffiths, come on, man. This is uh, awkward. Wait. She said no, but yes. That's interesting because in the ninety seven, I seem to remember that it was more of the no all the way through, whereas this is more of a, a, a no, but yes now. So, 
Jesus, they have not stopped on the animation on this one, have they? Oh, Jesus. Oh, never got to see this, like what was happening with these guys whilst that was happening as well. He's thinking of guts the whole time. The whole time he's thinking of guts throughout this. Jesus Christ. They are graphic, by the way, in this. They have not. I, I haven't been able to show you it. Okay, well, there's a bit there. But I haven't been able to show you it because I think I would get removed. Um, so, wow. They don't hide away from the, the, what they show on this. What? Jesus. Like, let's get full on. Hey -o. Well, that was um, weird to watch in full. I can't think of another anime that does that, by the way. It makes it that kind of emotional and crazy like they've just done there. What the heck? The more and more I think about some of the lines that have been said in this, by the way. Caucus. Thinking back, I said something really relevant earlier on. Okay, so that, let me just think. The line was... Getting an arm car might wake him up. Foreshadowing? He said it to, to Guts. And he... Well, it does, and then he, does, he, always, he wakes up. Oh, dear. And this is where it all goes wrong. Oh, God, it all goes wrong after this. I so serious. No, he knew. He wanted them all out of the way so that they didn't get involved in it. So maybe he did actually care as well. Oh yeah, Griffiths is completely destroyed after after what's happened with Guts. Like completely destroyed. Oh. Oh, okay, so we get to see this as well. I'm getting attacked. Whoa, this is a pretty epic scene. Look at all the crows just dispersed. Whoa, and then that's sick. All the crows dispersed in one direction and the arrows coming in the other. That's class. I mean, it's not class at all dying, but that's sick. Yeah, they're starting to realise. Oh, man, this is... Jesus. Wait, did Griffiths... Want all of them killed at this point, then? Because why would he put them there at the bottom of the hill and then the army has an easy way of shooting them all down with no armor as well? Wait, did he want them killed? As a way of saying, screw you all, I'm done with you. That's the king doing it, isn't it, as well? What? That was never said before. What? Nah. Is that re is that true? Is that part of the manga? Is that No. That's the king, isn't it? Tell me in the comments. That's definitely the king that he's having that conversation with, isn't it? Yeah? 
Kaskis leading the charge. Oh my god, there's loads of them. They've got no chance. Man, this is this is such a brutal episode. Hey, who the hell's that guy? Don't remember them being a small torturer guy. Or a dwarven torturer. I've never liked Griffiths though, so I'm. He kind of deserves it, to be honest. But I know people are going to have a different viewpoint on that, but that's my viewpoint. See, when does get. Wait. Guts has normally been gone a long time with his blacksmith and training for a year. So we tell, are we saying that didn't happen? Wait, who's that? Who's that? Is that Puck? I'm guessing those two meet later on, right? Because that was a very, very slow motion moment between the two. Is he important later? Jesus Christ, he's battered. Oh, I thought it falls off him, but he's took it off him instead. Oh, that was a different way of doing it. Imagine if someone else would have just picked it up instead. Although I suppose that's the point, isn't it? No one else could have it apart from him. Because he's been chosen. That was freaking crazy episode that was absolute five star though in terms of the animation on that that was incredible to watch so good that was let me know in the comments what you thought about this version of it uh i'm gonna go straight into the next one now because that was just so good so, so many questions on a few bits that have been added into this so Puck, I think it is, the fairy guy. I think that's him, yeah, right? So we've got him, or her, um, that, that was never in the 97 at this point. Um, it looks as if the king wanted his own daughter. I think that was the king. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, lots of things to digest in that. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you for the next episode.